Hey, what's up guys? So the new patch, the big balance character change patch for Dragon Ball Fighters is coming out this week, just a few days away. Uh, and before that happened, I wanted to do one final tier list for sort of the game as it exists now before all these changes come in and shake everything up. So not only that, I'm going to be doing the tier list. This has been highly requested. A lot of people have asked me on stream to do this. But also, I'm going to be doing a list of the five characters who I think will move the most on the tier list once the patch comes out. The five characters who the patch will shake up their position the most. As well as five characters that I think aren't going to be changed by the patch. Five characters who are just going to kind of stay exactly where they are. So let's get right into it and start putting this list together. Uh, I'm not going to discuss too much exactly why each character is where they are, just because I think it gets a little repetitive. I think I repeat a lot of the same points in each of these videos. If you want some in-depth explanations about what I think about each character, check out my team building guide. I'm going to put the link down in the description. I really go in depth about uh, the different character strengths and weaknesses in there. So that might be something to check out if you want a little bit more detail about why I'm putting a character where they are. So let's start out Super Saiyan Goku. I think he is one of the best supports in the game and I think he's very high tier but maybe not top tier. Uh, Krillin I think is garbage support and a pretty weak character so I'm going to put him down here. Probably one of the worst supports in the game. Uh, and just to clarify, support is going to be mostly their assist if they have a good assist, but also it's going to be stuff like Z change synergy if they enable any kind of extra damage on the team, if they are good at making comebacks so they belong well in the last slot, stuff like that. That's going to make them a good support. Anyway, Piccolo I think is one of the best characters in the game and he's a pretty good support too. I want to leave a little bit room. A little bit of room in top tier for more characters to go up there, but Piccolo I think is extremely busted. Uh, Team Gohan I think is a pretty weak support and a pretty weak character. I think I'm going to throw him down here. Uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta is an amazing support, but I don't think he's quite as good as Super Saiyan Goku actually, so I'll put him here. Uh, Frieza I think is kind of a decent support, but a pretty weak character. Throw him down here. Uh, Trunks, I think, is a pretty good support. Maybe not as good as these guys, uh, but not an incredibly good character. So I'm going to throw him right here. Uh, 16, I think, is a very good character and maybe an above average support, but not like super crazy. I think we'll put 16 here. 18, I think, is a pretty bad support, but still a pretty good character. I think I'll put her right here. Cell is like a mediocre support, but a quite good character. He goes here. Majin Buu, very, very good character. Maybe not so good of a support. His assist is fairly weak, but I think Majin Buu is extremely strong, actually. Uh, he's a build around. You have to work hard to kind of make him work, but he's extremely good. So I'm putting him here. Uh, that might be one of the more surprising ones in the video so far. Another one, uh, Blue Goku, I think is quite good as well. I think he is a poor support. Maybe a little bit better than these guys, but I'll put him like right there. Uh, Vegeta Blue, pretty unfortunate. Bad support, bad character. I think I'm going to put him here. Uh, Yamcha. Oh my god, Yamcha's OP. I'm putting Yamcha right here, man. One of the best supports in the game. And uh, overall, like I just think, uh, even though he's not like the best point character in the game, it doesn't really matter. He's good enough as a point character, and his assist is so incredibly broken that I'm going to put him over here. Uh, Tien, I think, is a pretty good support, but overall, I'm not that impressed by the character lately. Uh, I just think, like, the double super nerfs hit him pretty hard, and his neutral is pretty difficult to play. So I think maybe I'll put him, like, right here. I think Trunks is maybe a slightly better support. I don't know. Put him, like, right there. That's fine. Nappa, I think, is a decent support, but a poor character. Uh, I'll probably put Nappa, like, right here. Uh, Ginyu amazing character uh, maybe not so good as a support but not terrible either uh, Ginyu I guess I'll put him like right here uh, Gotenks obviously an insanely busted character I'm gonna put Gotenks like right up here his assist I think maybe isn't as good as these three but he's damn close and he's so busted uh, man, I really hope they do something about snapback loops because they're such a huge problem. Uh, Adult Gohan is actually a pretty good support. It took me a long time to kind of come around to the idea of how good his assist is. 
Um, and he's a really good point character as well. So I think I'll put Adult Gohan... Mm, I guess I'll put him like right here. I would say he's he's probably as good as Piccolo. Uh, Kid Buu also I think is on this tier. I'll put him like right there. Beerus, unfortunately for Beerus, he's pretty weak right now. I think he might be better than Krillin and Nappa. So I might put him right about here. Hit I think is solid. Uh, not really a good support. Maybe slightly better than Blue Goku when it comes to support qualities. So I'll put Hit right here. Uh, Goku Black, great support. Not so great of a character, but I think he's good enough that I can slip him in right here. Uh, actually, I'll put, I'll move him a little bit over just to indicate he's not as good as these guys because his Z-Change synergy is not that good. Uh, but his assist is very, very good. Android 21, I think is a good character and a decent support. I'll put it right here. Bardock, still busted, still insane, still a pretty solid support. Uh, the nerf to his level 3, I think hurt his support abilities a decent amount. Because you can't just Z-change into his level 3 whenever and get a stupid busted mix-up off it. But his assist is still quite good. And he's a very, very good character. So I think Bardock is actually a tier above these three. So I'm going to slip him in right there. Uh, Broly. Broly, I think I'm going to sneak on this tier here. I think he's appreciably better than these guys. Uh, but he's not, like, amazing. His assist is decent as well. So he's going to go right there. Uh, Zamasu, he's a character who's kind of just been on a constant downward trajectory since he came out, I feel like. I had high hopes at the beginning, but he ended up just being very hard to play. I think the uh, guard cancel nerfs hurt him pretty hard. Double super nerfs hurt him pretty hard. Uh, and he's a very difficult character. He's a build around, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I think I'm going to put Zamasu like right here. Maybe or maybe maybe he belongs down here. I'll put him. I'll put him down here. He he's just kind of a disappointing character nowadays. Uh, Vegito, on the other hand, has gone up, up, up. He's been on kind of the upward trajectory here. I don't think he's maybe as good as these guys, but I think he's close. So I'm gonna sneak him in right about here. His assist is probably a little bit better than like Hit and Majin Buu, so we'll sneak him in right there. Base Goku, unfortunate. I wanted him to be a really good support, but I think he's very, very weak. I think I'm going to put him, like, right here. Slightly better support than, like, Nappa, maybe, but not great. So we'll put him here. Base Vegeta, I think, is quite good as a point character. As a support, he's nothing amazing, but, you know, he's good enough. I think we'll put him, like, right there. Maybe, mm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think I'm happy with that. Cooler... Uh, he's like a mediocre support, and I think he's like a mediocre character, too. I think I'm going to put Cooler, like, right here. Uh, 17, unfortunate, you know, pretty terrible. I think he has maybe a slightly better assist than Krillin, but not much better. So, we'll scoot these guys, like, a little bit over here, just to indicate, like, this is just how bad these guys' assists are. Uh, and then we'll put them down here. Uh, Jiren... I don't know about Jiren, man. Maybe he belongs on, like, this tier. I think he is actually a decent support. I've seen some cool stuff with his assist. I was a little bit turned off by his assist at first because, similar to base Goku, it wall bounces. It sends them full screen on hit, which is not necessarily what you want. But I have seen some pretty cool kind of, uh, some pretty cool, like, combo setups involving his assist. It seems to enable some pretty good damage. And it's got good blocks on, so I'll put him right there. Uh, Videl. Oh my god. Videl is crazy, boys. I think Videl's going to go right here. Um, this actually feels a little bit ridiculous, putting Videl as good of a support as these two. Her assist isn't really close to as good as these two. But I do think her assist is about as good as Bardock. And maybe not as good as Adult Gohan, but it, it's close. Her assist is very, very good. And she's a very, very good point character, so I'm putting her up here. Uh, Videl has shaken out to be extremely strong, guys. When it first came out, when the, these two characters first came out, I kind of, I felt like it was pretty intuitive that um, Jiren feels like a fairly strong character to play. Like, Jiren doesn't feel weak at all. But Videl, I really could have seen her going either way. 
like she could have been really bad <laughs> or she could have been really good because she's so different she plays pretty different from a lot of the cast so I think it took a little while to kind of shake out but now I'm very confident that Videl is extremely strong so that's pretty much my tier list here uh, I think Gotenks probably is in a tier all his own if I really wanted to get nitpicky I think he's better than pretty much everyone else but Bardock's very good too and obviously these guys are good too so th this is I think the top five I think I'm pretty confident that this is the top five then we got four more here and then uh, these guys you know yeah, yeah I, I, I'm I'm fairly happy with this overall but uh, let's move on and talk about uh, what characters I think are gonna be affected a lot by the patch so who do I think is gonna get the biggest upgrade from this patch so I have five of them first of all I think is Nappa so Nappa is actually getting some very good stuff a multi-hit key blast and the ability to do some kind of crazy stuff with his heavy Cyberman the ability to kind of pre-program what attacks the Cyberman is gonna do I think that's gonna enable some pretty wild stuff so I would not be surprised if Nappa moves up like two tiers maybe that would be like my best expectation uh, a lot of people sleep on Nappa as a support as well his assist is not bad his assist is actually pretty solid uh, so he doesn't have to be a first slot character so I think that Nappa Nappa could end up somewhere up here you know depending obviously this is a lot of speculation we don't know the full details of the patch but just from what we know so far, it seems like Nappa's getting a ton of good stuff, so I think he's going to be helped out a lot. Uh, next up, I think a character who will also be helped out a lot is Vegeta Blue. There's really no reason to play Vegeta Blue right now. Base Vegeta is just a lot better, and Vegeta Blue doesn't really have any unique identity to himself. Like before, the thing that kind of made Vegeta Blue unique was his kick attack was pretty sweet, actually. His uh, quarter circle forward attack, you could use that for really cool mix-ups. Uh, really cool block strings and it was actually neat but the guard cancel change has nullified a lot of that and he didn't really get anything to make up for it so they're being a little bit coy about what exactly they're changing about that special move uh, but it sounds like they're gonna give him more options which I'm pretty hype about I'm hoping he'll move up at least one tier maybe more so he can join his blue brother up here uh, but Goku blue is getting some nice stuff as well so maybe he'll jump up a tier but then again everybody's getting buffed so, uh, you know, people who are only getting minor buffs are probably not going to change that much. But I think Vegeta Blue seems like he's getting some pretty major buffs. So maybe he'll jump up a tier or two as well. Uh, next up, Jiren. Jiren, really, the one thing that he's getting that matters is increased speed on his standing heavy. So that's his command throw, uh, which is a pretty bad move right now because it's one of the slowest throws in the game. It's very, very easy to react and punish. So his mix-up is not that good. But if this move is fast now, all of a sudden overnight, his mix-up's going to become pretty strong. If it's hard to react to now, that's going to be sick. So he, he could easily move up, I think. The fact that he does have a pretty good assist, if he ends up being a pretty good point character as well, I think that could make him a pretty valuable character. There aren't that many characters with like pretty solid assists, right? Like if we were just to like cut this tier list down here, like how many characters are to the right of this? Like 12 maybe? Uh... So yeah, there's not that many characters with like quite good assists. And Jiren could be one of them. And he could also be pretty good on points. So he could definitely move up. I think that change is going to help him a lot. It's basically patching up like by far the biggest hole in his gameplay was that just his mix-up is not that good. Uh, so they're fixing that, hopefully. Hopefully it's a big reduction in startup. We'll have to see exactly how much they're reducing the startup by. But I'm very excited. Uh, next up, we got Cooler. So Cooler, again, he has kind of a similar issue to Jiren. He doesn't have a low hitting down light, and he, he doesn't even have a command grab at all. So it's like, how's this character supposed to mix up? Most characters without a low hitting down light have some kind of built in mix up, you know, like uh, uh, base Goku has a command throw, Goku Black has a command throw, Trunks has like his cross up stuff with his uh, flippy move, stuff like that. But Cooler doesn't really have anything. All he has is like, his extra low he gets from that projectile that comes out of the ground that's about it but now he's getting a plus on block dive kick 
So now, theoretically, he can pressure you and continue to be plus. The only way to get out of the pressure is to do a down heavy or some other kind of like a vanish or something during the gap. And so now it's going to be kind of a mix up of, am I going to do the dive kick? And you're going to have to press a button to stop me from just keeping you in block stun forever. Or am I not going to do the dive kick? Am I going to do something like, you know, 6H instead? And then if you press a button, there's a gap and you get frame trapped. So uh, I think that's pretty exciting. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cooler moves up a tier or two. Maybe. We'll have to see. But I'm excited for that change. I think that one little change is going to make a big difference. You know, Like, look at Yamcha. His stand heavy is like a character-defining move because it's plus on block. He doesn't have mix-ups other than his cross-up Wolfang Fist, which kind of costs a bar to do the version that's hard to react to, and he doesn't get that much damage off it. But standing heavy, plus on block, allows him to pressure basically indefinitely unless the opponent you know, actually presses a button to get their way out. But then obviously pressing a button while you're blocking, pretty risky. So Cooler's going to have that same kind of thing. So I think that's pretty exciting. And then the fifth character I think is going to change a lot, at least my fingers crossed, I hope, is Zamasu. So they said all of Zamasu's normals are getting buffed. At least that's the translation that I read. Uh, I mean, maybe not literally all of them, but it, it seems like they're going to buff a decent set of his normals at least. So that's pretty cool. And then his down heavy. His down heavy is such a bummer. That thing just doesn't work very well. The hitbox is not big enough. It's hard to combo into, hard to hit people with. So that's a nice buff. So if they're increasing the range on some of his other normals, maybe improving his frame data, that could be pretty big. So I love Zamasu. I think he's a really, really fun character. But it's like if a character is going to be really complicated and hard to play, they have to be really, really good to make up for it. You know, something like Piccolo. Piccolo is a pretty complicated character, uh, and it took people a long time to figure him out. But in exchange, you get so much out of him. Or like Majin Buu is another example. Like a character where you have to really build a team around him and work hard. But once you do, he just becomes a monster. Whereas characters like Zamasu or like Seventeen, to a much greater extent, hard characters, gotta kind of build around him, but you just don't get that much of a reward. But hopefully Zamasu will be able to stand a little bit more on his own after these buffs. So that would be cool. I would love to see a little bit more Zamasu out there. So those are the characters I think are going to move a lot. Let's talk about characters who I don't think are going to change that much. First of all, Beerus. From what we've seen, Beerus is not getting much. Uh, it looks like he's going to have some new combo options. But that's not really his problem. Like, <laughs> it, how is he going to land combos in the first place? That's the issue. Uh, Beerus neutral is pretty whack. Uh, he can't really like pressure that well either now that there's guard cancel changes. I, I just don't like Beerus right now. And the two changes that they've shown are pretty minor. I don't think Beerus is going to change. If anything, he's going to get worse uh, because other characters are going to move up around him. Uh, next up, this one is kind of disappointing to me personally, Gotenks. <laughs> I don't think Gotenks is going to change unless there is a sneaky nerf to uh, Snapback Loop that they haven't told us about yet. Gotenks is not changing. Uh, he's getting very, very minor buffs, but he's so good and so broken that I think he's still going to be the best character after the patch. Unless maybe Piccolo becomes the new best character, because Piccolo is getting some decent buffs, but... I, I have a strong feeling Gotenks is going to still be number one. Uh, next up, a character I don't think is going to change is Frieza. So this one's a little bit disappointing as well. I want Frieza to be good, but his changes just don't seem that impactful. Obviously, getting a frame of startup knocked off his light attacks is a pretty huge buff. That That is a very, very big buff. But I don't really think that that's where Frieza struggles. Like... Well, okay, obviously Frieza does struggle up close. Like, if you get in on Frieza, you're at a pretty good advantage. But I don't think that improving his light attacks is really going to fix that. I think Frieza's problem is still that he just doesn't get that much if he guesses right. The risk reward, the risk reward is out of whack. Like, if Frieza messes up, he dies. <laughs> but if you mess up trying to get in on Frieza, you eat like 20% and you go back to neutral. So... It's pretty out of whack, and I don't think that's changing at all. And from what we know, they are not fixing the issue where he can't build meter very much during uh, during uh, Golden Freeze transformation. I was hoping that they would add an exception to the meter build rule for his Golden Freeze transformation, because that super is just not very useful right now. It's like not usable 
basically. But they're not changing that. So uh, Frieza really is bad. And I think if anything, he's going to move down. But uh, we'll see. Maybe there's some hidden changes that are going to show up in the full patch notes that we don't know about yet. But so far, I do not have high hopes for Frieza. Uh, next up, Hit. Hit got very, very minor changes. I mean, the fact that he can do a level 7 super is very cool. Don't get me wrong. I love that change. But a lot of people are like, oh, man, he's going to be able to, like, OTK if he uses all 7 meters. Like, no, I don't think so. I think, at best, a raw level 7 is probably going to do, like, 40%. So in a combo, it's probably not going to do that much. Uh, so I think, you know, maybe he'll be able to eke out some kills that he wouldn't be able to get before. You know, add like an extra 10% at the end of a combo or something like that if he uses a bunch of meters. But I don't think he's going to be buffed that much. I think he's probably going to stay the same. Uh, and then finally, another one that's personally disappointing to me, Krillin. So Krillin, uh, they're a little bit vague. There's a potential that he's going to be getting meterless sliding knockdown mid-screen off of stuff like Kamehameha into Vanish. That would be cool. That would be a pretty big buff. But I just don't think it's going to matter. Like, the thing is, if you're this far to the left <laughs> on the poor support uh, sort of axis here, if you're this terrible of a support, you really have to be a good point character to be played. Like, you have to be, like, really strong to see play. Like, Android 18, I think, is the closest thing. Of She's, like, a really bad support, but she's really, really good on point. And so she sees some play. But not that much. Like, a bad support character is just hard to fit on a team. A good support, if they're also a good point character, just put them on every team. Every team has like a Bardock, or a Gotenks, or a Kid Buu, or an Adult Gohan. Every single team at like high level has one of these characters, if not more. But a bad support, you really have to work to make them work. You have to build a team around them. So you better get a good reward out of it. And I don't think with Krillin you get that good reward. And I don't think he's getting enough good changes to really make that difference. Uh, like 17, he, 17's not getting a crazy amount of changes, at least what we've seen so far. But they seem a lot bigger than what Krillin's getting. Uh, so yeah, I don't think Krillin is going to be moving up the tier list much at all. Which like, okay, I still love the character. I just feel like they've really boxed themselves in by giving him such a bad assist. I, I don't necessarily think I want them to like change his assist because they're like, you know, just make it a different move. Like, I don't want them to just make it a different move. That's lame. It's like, it's cool that it's a different assist than most assists. Like, it's, it's very unique. It's just not useful. Make the rock better somehow. The rock is just not where it needs to be. Neither is the Senzu Bean. I don't really know if they could buff the Senzu Bean in a meaningful way, but they gotta do something, man. He, he, Krillin's in a bad spot. Uh, but I'm going to keep playing him, you know, I'm dedicated. I like the ball boy, what can I say? But uh, anyway, that's it. What do you guys think? Are there any characters you guys think are going to be making big waves after the patch that I didn't mention? Be sure to let me know. And uh, yeah, we're going to end the video there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out. I'm getting so close to 100k subs. I really want to hit that number soon. That would be so exciting for me. Uh, and yeah, with that, we're going to end things. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.